Hello everybody, today I wanted to go through a quick tutorial of uh, airbrush teardown and rebuild, I guess is what we'll call this. Um, this is the Omni 3000 airbrush, this is what we use on the website, this is what my favorite airbrush, this is what I use every day. So we're going to take it apart, we're going to talk about it a little bit, and then we're going to put it back together. First I'll start by taking off the handle, loosening this nut, and pulling out the needle. Go ahead and take this nut all the way off and then unscrew this thing. Thing is the proper term here. And that exposes this spring and the needle tube rocker assembly. Let's try not to lose that. Now that you've taken, as soon as you take the needle off, the trigger is free to come out. So we'll take that out so it doesn't fall out. Then we'll move to the front of the airbrush. There's a couple different parts up here. This is the air cap. I'm sorry. This very first piece is the air cap, the air guard. Omni airbrushes have two configurations for this. You can flip it over the other way and screw it on this way. And what that does, if you can do it, sorry, I'm fumbly. Screwing on this way protects the needle. The needle's inside of that and you can't hit it on the shirt or hit it on anything and bend it. I like it the other way so I can clean it more easily. We're going to take this off. This is the air cap. And then we're going to take this whole front piece off. I don't even know what you'd call that. The tip thing? The tip thing. This is the tip. I call it the cone. They call it officially the tip. And then you're done. Okay, so this is the body of the airbrush. The tip, the needle, the th air cap thing, the other air cap thing, and the farthest front air cap thing. The trigger, the needle tube rocker assembly, the spring that goes on that, the tighten you down thing, and then the chuck nut and the handle. Those are the parts. Now we're going to put it back together, starting with the cone tip set it inside wow set it inside gravity should hold it in place and put that first cap on this is important you want this to be very tight not very 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 tight but usually either as tight as you can get it with your fingers or crank it down with a wrench a little bit if this isn't tightened down all the way you're gonna get weird problems with your airbrush and you're not gonna understand why um, paint air is going to end up flowing backwards through the bottle and it's not going to come out and you're going to get frustrated tighten that thing down put these two other caps back on and now your front end is done um, next this trigger let's see if I can see in there there's a little dot that you see right there this trigger indentation sits on top of that dot make sure that the line is going through the airbrush so the needle can go through the trigger you can take, make sure it's in the right spot by pushing down on the trigger. You should feel a little spring. If you don't feel a spring and it is in the right spot, you need to f replace your air valve. Um, after you got the trigger in there, put the needle tube in there. Just slide it in. And that tip should come up through the hole. Now, put your spring over the assembly and put in the tighten knee down piece in there and tighten it down. It needs to be far enough in so that this handle can screw on and so this chuck nut can screw onto the back of it and it needs to go pretty far. The more you tighten this, the harder it is to pull the trigger back. So it is an adjustment you can make for your preference. Um, on my black airbrushes when I'm doing line work, I like to have a tighter trigger. Um, and on bigger fill colors or something like that, you can have it more loose so that you don't have to strain yourself so hard. Um, but that is an adjustable tension there with that. Once you have that tightened down in place, put this needle through, through the back, through the assembly, all the way to the front of the airbrush. And it's, it's going to be loose, that's fine. Put your chuck nut on. This chuck nut is what tightens the needle down. So to tighten it, you want to make sure that the chuck nut is loose. The needle is moving freely. You want to push the needle all the way to the front, you should see it come through the cone in the front of the airbrush. Put a little bit of pressure, 
not a lot of pressure, a little bit of pressure down and hold it with your fingers, my back finger there, to make sure that it stays all the way in the front. While you're doing that, tighten this chuck nut and that locks the needle in place. Now when you pull back this trigger, the needle pulls back with it. That's what how the basic function of the airbrush. Put your handle back on. That just prevents your hand from gives you something to hold on to. And you're done. Your airbrush is back together and it should work just fine. That's a little quick tear down and rebuild of the airbrush. If any of those parts didn't work like that, something might be a problem. Thanks guys.